Hello, I'd like to welcome you all back to Little Racer Street, where... Since when I thought I had a, a D class? Oh yeah, I probably didn't go for it, but let's just pick a race and go for it! We've got Dawn Race, oh, I already attempted this race, let's pick one of the other two. got four laps, which is my best car? This one's a nice mix of all things. Let's go for the Leon 2012. Three. Two, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, play one, this little easy racer game again. Go. Cars faster. This is an E race, right? I'm pretty much on the limit of what counts as that. Yeah, bitch. Bring it. Final lap. God, That's look at these guys. They just cruise on ahead. Third, I guess. Third, please. A whole bunch of damages to repair, too. Is it this one? Just... No, that was me. What do I win? Oh, a whole bunch of credits. Oh, you managed to push the button at the right time? Well, then you get a tiny turbo start. With that mini turbo, as they call it. never caught on, I'm not great with racers. I like those windmills though, they are really cool. Final lap. Very inspiring. Hey, first place! What I win? All of the Benjamins, I hope. Hundred races, one. Wow. Oh, one more race. I do not Three, like E-class as much. Two. I wonder what the one. hell A-class are going to be like. Oh. They take those turns. Just real quick, the camera isn't as cooperative as I feel it should be. Paddle to the metal.
final lap. Fastest lap. Just like with sailing, um, when you're sailing, you want to turn as little as possible because sailing in um, like water takes a lot of energy. First place. Despite that fact, if you want to sail against the wind, you got to make 45 degree angles and swip and swap, and then you can maintain somewhat of a straight turn. It's kind of weird Not that I sail all that much, but I sail. I really like that they just Two. made a couple of environments and built some races One. around it. Go. It's had a lot of open world quotation marks really strong on that one. Uh, racing games work. I do not understand why he wants an open world racer, other than that look, you can race for free you can race around freely, but it really isn't much that he gains from having an open world for you to futz around it. No you're not. Oh, jam it! Bump the back of Fastest lap. Just believe in yourself. Your pal can find out. Look little details like the gas station down there. Yeah, this big old windmill over here. And it got like little sand bumps. Final lap. I see the, the, the fun in an open world sort of thing, but I don't know. I'm the kind of person that likes it the most when you have reasons to go places. It's kind of hard to give you a reason to go places in a game that's about driving around. Like you can't exactly make a car that jumps up on rooftops, for example, where you can hide something on the roofs or in a back corner without being like, oh great, now I have to First back place. my way out of a turn corner place. Hey, I got an unexpected victory. Let's take a look at that one. Uh, ooh, win a race starting last in the grid. I'm at a whole bunch of credits. How many credits do I have? I have a whole bunch of credits. Can I buy any fancy new cars that are preferably in D... Nope. These D-Class cars are expensive. Oh, this is a top one. So what is the A-Class like? I assume that 100 is as high as you can go. My cars are, uh, they're close. It's four and a half million Benjamins. Ugh. There's nothing I can do without bumping here into D. That's pretty cheap. Rip. Let's give her one f final test drive. I think that's the first car I got. We got a snowy race. I don't want a lot of cars in, the, in my races. I also don't want to have six laps, but it's the only one I got. Three, two, one, go. Power. This car's got a lot of them. Yeah, punch it! Almost missed that turn. Paying attention. So 
glad that I got this game. It's really fun. It's a nice, simple little cute little race game. Uh, they even put a little sign on the hardware store. Do you know what that shop is? Like? Even has street signs that have actual things on them. Instead of just like gibberish. I really like it in games like these, where they put their own games on the on the advertisement sign. They're like, oh, look at this game that we made. Fast like this. Fast. Like, yay! Wow, this car is a beast. I get the feeling that speed is a more important stat than anything else if I'm kicking their asses this hard. Fastest lap. Well, you could at least give him more than just fastest lap at once. It tends to have a lot of spice to a game. Um, am I lapping someone? You're kidding. Lapped ya! Eat that! Oh wow, I think I actually lapped him in another race too. He's just got final lap hard. I do have to say, the damage doesn't appear to be that bad. But it might be because I'm not driving as fast as some of the future races are bound to be. Please. Two more and I can get 10,000 big ones. What are the rankings at? Ooh, I, go, I went down to? Bergstrom! Should have gone for S. Crook, because then I would have fit in better. How many are there? Oh, I can unlock a car by doing certain things. Pretty cool. I'll see you guys next time. Um, Oh, I see. Those are challenges for cars in specific. I'm gonna go for this one. The Zulu. That's a car I can appreciate. Got a lot of grip in it, too. That's a gripping puppy. It's got wheels where it's wheel sh- Oh, oh, but the rosette. A lot of nitro. That's a powerhouse. Start out nice and smooth. See you guys next time. Hope you enjoy the video. Here's a free roam. Let's just talk about how free roam is something that you put in these games. Look at this. One. Go. Is there a map? Oh. Oh, this game has camera angles. Oh, this actually looks super cute. Oh, this, oh that's a cool cinema. That's a that's an isometric they use in the old SNES games, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And this is like the, the dynamic one it uses. This is uh, very GTA-ish. It's like camera-esque. Oh, this is probably the... No, this is overhead. And this is the one right behind you. Oh, this is a really nice map, by the way. <laughs> Whee! I might go for this, though. Go for some different angles, because we've been doing that one a lot. I think this game could use, though, is something in the sky. Like, just a black, pitch black sky is not that fun. This game's got a lot of sense for speed, though, despite being... My car feels tiny, though. I want to say that, but the sidewalk's a little bit too high. Burger Hut. Oh my god, that is a really high fidelity advertisement, if I have to say. Like, whoever's their texture guy have a... That is just bad. Whoever their texture guy is, he has a lot of fun. He's got a car. I don't mind. I like how the car sways. I really hard to break my car. 
Yeah. This is a rather high fidelity world for what it's worth. I got a nice free try. Give me this. Six. Three. Two. One. Go. I'll play this game much more, but as in I'll play it recently because this was a game I picked up in case I had a long game. I was just wanted to unwind it. This feels a lot like those big ass uh, legit racers. Like it even has the stupid drive by the hillside parts. Even has damn. It could do with a map though. Races, eh? Well, sure, why not? I want to see what these daily challenges are about. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is horrible ice. I actually kind of like it, though. Like, it gives a lot... Like, this is the kind of turning I'm used to, you know? I'm used to something nice and slippery like having Mario Kart. You know, like you can really drift yeah, into it. Lap. like that S train at all. Does this end or is it like you just gotta do it until you're done? How do you even do that? I do not want to be in the race where you gotta do that. I'll probably see the, the, the enemy cars do it and I'm like, yeah, that's how it goes. How many times do I have to do this? I'm gonna go for 10 laps and then I'm gonna just call it quits because I am making this way longer than it should be. Already. It is just way too much. Fastest lap. A fantastic way to hone your skills though. Like, this is a very big challenge. Oh, some people start playing this game. Cool. I'm third! Yay!